Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate with a calculator 23 power 5 minus 23. Now, this 23 is to the power of 1. Remember, 23 power 1 is the same thing as 23. Because of that, we are going to express this 5 as summation of 4 and 1. So you have 23 to the power of 4 plus 1. And 4 plus 1 here is 5. Then we have minus 23. And 23 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 23. So because of this, let's apply this identity. If you have a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. So by applying this identity here, we have 23 to the power of 4 times 23 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 23, minus 23. So there is 23 here. There's 23 here, we can factor that out. We are going to have 23 times this divided by 23. We have 23 power 4 minus 23 divided by 23. We have 1. Now we can express this 23 power 4 as 23 power 2 or power 2. So we have 23 times this is 23 to the power of 2 or to the power of 2. And we have minus 1. Now we can also raise this 1 to the power of 2 because 1 power 2 is 1. Now, before then, let's find out what is the value of 23 power 2. I have 23 power 2, which is just, just like writing 20 plus 3 power 2. So, for me to expand this, I can simply have it as 20 plus 3 times 20 plus 3 and this will give in 20 times 20 that is 400 plus 20 times 3 that is 60 plus 3 times 20 60 plus 3 times 3 9 so this will give me 400 plus 120 plus 9 if you add up we are going to have 120 plus 9 is 129 this is 529 that means 23 power 2 is 529 I come over here, I have my 23 times 5 to 9 power 2 minus 1 power 2. Now, because of the fact that we have power 2 here, we have power 2 here and there's minus here, I can make use of difference of two squares. If I have is power 2 minus b power 2, this equals a plus b times a minus b. And 5 to 9 is our a. 1 is our b. So we make use of this. I'm going to have 5, 2, 9 plus 1 times 5, 2, 9 minus 1. So right now, 5, 2, 9 plus 1 is 5, 30 times this is 5, 28. That is 5, 2, 9 minus 1. So let's multiply this out. We can simply express this as 500 plus 30 times 500 plus 28. So this actually becomes we have 23 times 500 plus 30. Then we have 500 plus 28. So, we need to multiply this out, and for us to achieve that, we are going to make use of this identity. If you have a plus b times a plus c, this is a, b, a, c. This equals a squared plus a times b plus c plus b times c. Because b and c are different, that's why we are making use of this identity. So right now I have a squared and a is 500, so I have 500 power 2 plus this is 500 times 30 plus 28 plus this is 30 times 28. That's b times c. So right now 
500 squared that is 500 times 500 that is 250,000 5 squared is 25 so you have 250,000 plus 500 times this is 58 30 plus 28 plus 30 times 28 will give you 840 you can multiply that out so if you have 28 times 0 you have 0 so 28 times 3 will give you about 84 so you have 840 now the next thing we are going to do will be to multiply this out 500 times 58 will give you 29,000 you can multiply that out plus 840 plus this is 250,000 29,000 plus 840 will give you 29,840 plus this is 250,000. So if you add of this, so you are definitely going to have 279,840. But let's do it together. So you have 250,000 plus this is 29,840. So this is zero four eight nine seven two. So this is two seven nine eight forty, just like what I said earlier. So what we are going to do will be to copy out this and multiply it by twenty three to have our final answer. So this is two seven nine eight forty. That is for five thirty times. 520, right? So we still have our 23 down here. That is what we are going to use to multiply everything. This 279840. So we have 279840 times 23. So we have 3 times 0, 0, 3 times 4, 12, 2 carry over 1. 3 times 8, 24 plus 1, 25. 5 carry over 2. 3 times 9, that is 27. 27 plus 2, that is 29. 9 carry over 2. So we still have this in 2. Now, 3 times 7, that is 21. 21 plus 2, 23. So we have 3 and still carry over. So 3 times 2, that is 6. 6 plus 2, that is 8. So we have this right here. So the next thing will be for us to consider 2, 2 times 0. So 2 times 4. So you have 2 times 4, that is 8. So we have 2 times 8, 16. We have 6 carry over 1. 2 times 9, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 9 carry over 1, 2 times 7, 14, 14 plus 1, they are 15, 5 carry over 1, and 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 1, we have 5. So let's add up together. This is 0, 2, this is 30, 3 carry over 1 add here, that becomes 16, 6 carry over 1, and add here, this becomes 13. So we have 3 and cover 1 and add here. This will give you 14. So that is 14. So you have 4 and cover 1 and add here. That is 6. So you have 6, 4, 3, 6, 3, 2, 0. So that is 6 million, 436,320. So this becomes the answer with that calculator. I believe you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.